Around a year and a half ago, I made a video with regard to toilet paper and how much the average person uses on a day-to-day -day basis, and then used that to help calculate how much you would need for a year's supply of toilet paper. Well, since that video, toilet paper has become a lot harder to come by. In fact, in some places, you even have to fight for toilet paper due to some recent events going on in the news right now. So if you're in desperate need of toilet paper or are completely out of toilet paper, I recommend purchasing a couple travel bidets. These are bottle-sized bidets that you could use for cleaning that certain area in lieu of toilet paper. Now to avoid this being the grossest video that I've ever done on my YouTube channel, we're gonna be using some fruit and vegetables for the testing in addition to some peanut butter. So let's get started now with this video featuring the travel bidet. So there's a few different brands of travel bidets that you can take a look at. I've provided links in the description box below. I purchased a few of them about a year ago when I was making my portable toilet for my emergency preps. So I'll put a link to that video in this video. So it's basically just kind of a squeeze bottle and then you have a nozzle over here that allows you to spray the water at a 30 degree angle most of the time. So it usually is going to spray up like that and you're just going to use that to clean the area. So they're pretty handy, they're lightweight, and a lot of people prefer them when they're traveling. So at the very least, a lot of people use these travel bidets to clean that area and then just use a bare minimum amount of toilet paper. I'm gonna to try to do this whole video without any kind of poop jokes. Poop jokes aren't my favorite, but they're a solid number two. So for the demo of this particular video, we're gonna use some fruits and some vegetables for simulating cleaning that area. We're gonna go over to the restroom and we're gonna compact these in with a lot of peanut butter and then use the bidet to spray the peanut butter off. So for this testing, we're gonna use one squash and one apple. Now let's use some peanut butter to compact in the areas of those fruits and vegetables. Let me just mix it up really quick. There we have the apple. And here we have the squash. I'm gonna use warm water for this. There you go. Let's start off first with the squash. As you can see, we got more out of the squash than we did the apple. Although this is peanut butter, it's pretty sticky, and I had to use a whole bottle for each one of them. Let's just get the remnants off the squash and the remnants off the apple. So when you're using these, you kind of want to have them half full because there is a little hole in the bottom that lets the air out as you're pushing in like this. If you have it completely full, you're going to see water just start to come out of here like that. But when it's about half full, it operates like that. Now, so far in this video, we've been taking a look at the Brondell Go Spa, which is a good travel bidet, but it's not actually the one that I would recommend, mainly due to the valve that's at the bottom. You do have some leakage as you're using it. The one that I prefer, and I have more of, is the Genie Bidet, which is really nice. This particular bidet does not have a valve at the bottom, so you don't have that same problems with the leakage. And then the nozzle that you see here is a telescoping nozzle, so when you're not using it, it's just embedded inside of the bottle, and when you do need to use it, it telescopes out and then you're able to use it just like a normal travel bidet, which is really handy. So again, with the Genie bidet, you don't have the same problem with the leakage because there is no valve at the bottom. And then I really like the telescoping nozzle on this one. It makes it easier for storage. It does come in a little storage bag if you want to use that, but it's not going to really break off if you're sitting, having it in your backpack or something like that. And then when you actually have to use it, the nozzle comes out and you can apply the bidet and then it just goes back in after you're done. So if you're actively using these travel bidets, I recommend not just storing water in it and letting it sit for a while because the water starts to stink inside the bottle and the bottle starts to stink and it's not a good thing. So after you're done with each use, I would just leave it with the cap off and the bottle dry and just let it air dry and then fill it up as you need to. So I've provided a few different links in the description box below to various portable bidets. Again, I recommend the Genie Bidet if you could get it. It's the best one that I've tested so far, although there's some other options that you could go with as well. So if you happen to be running low on toilet paper and you either don't want to fist fight for your toilet paper, yet you don't also want to make a bunch of rags and use those, I recommend looking into a portable bidet. As long as you have water, you'll have some method of washing that area after each use. Leave your comments below in the comments section and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. See you guys next time.